Do you wanna know some tips and tricks that will help you speed up your song productions? Well, stay tuned and I will share with you nine tricks that will help you make songs faster in FL Studio. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you can get alerted every time I post a new video on music production for songwriters and music producers. Now I've been using FL Studio for a very long time and today I'm gonna be sharing with you some tips and tricks to help you make songs faster in FL Studio. So let's jump in. Now the first area that we're gonna be talking about is organization. I know that sounds boring, but let me tell you, if you get some of this stuff down, you will be able to move through your projects so much quicker. So in the channel rack, let me show you how you can very quickly organize and color code a group of instruments that would be together. Let's take the, for instance, these first four that would be considered maybe a drum set. So if we left click and drag or right click and drag so that all those are highlighted, if we come up here to this drop down and then we come down here to say color selected gradient and then we just choose our first color to be one color and then we choose our last color to be the same color click accept it's going to automatically color those the same so now let's say that we wanted to move this entire group of tracks somewhere in the mixer so if i select the first one press control and left click and drag that entire group now if I hold down Alt and then press my left and right arrows, I can move that entire group of channels pretty easily around in the mixer. And if you want an even quicker way for just a single channel, if you click on one and then you just use your mouse scroll wheel and shift, you can take that channel really quickly anywhere that you want to. Now some people when they come into FL Studio they're a little bit confused by the workflow and the layout of everything. So if you're used to working in a DAW where a particular instrument is tied to a particular track that's also tied to a particular mixer track, then you can do this in FL Studio by coming here and you could select this instrument and then drag and drop it onto the playlist, onto the actual track name. And what that does is create the instrument track but then it also routes it to an open mixer track, an open insert in the mixer track. So let's say that I decide I'm going to rename and color this something different. So I'm going to bring this menu up by right clicking, rename it as base, and then I'm going to choose a dark yellow color. If I do that and accept the changes, it's changed it in the playlist view, it's changed it in the channel rack view, and it's also changed it in the mixer window as well. Now this next area that we're gonna focus on is what I like to call helper tricks. And the reason I call it helper tricks are they are just tools that will help you work through projects faster. So I find this tip to be really helpful when you are working in the pattern mode. And let's say that you've laid down a chord progression in one instrument and now you're trying to develop another instrument. Let's say it's a bass and you want to know what it is that you've done in that previous instrument. So when you come in here, you open up the piano roll by pressing F7. You don't see anything in here initially, but if you go up here to file, to view, and to ghost channels, it's gonna actually show you anything else in the pattern, the current pattern that you're in, what has already been played by other instruments. And now I'm following exactly what is in the progression in here already. And then another helpful tool in the piano roll is actually when you are trying to develop melodies for a particular song and you know the key that it's in, you'll see that there's these differences between dark and light. And these are showing you the um, white keys and then the black keys right now. So it's showing you the scale for C major, but you can actually change these white and black sections to reflect whatever key of the song that you're working in. So if you come down here to view, and then you go to scale highlighting and you go down to major, and then you go back through this process again, go to view, scale highlighting, and change it to G major. I'm in the scale of G major for this particular song, and does it show me the notes that will work in this particular scale? And this last trick that I'm gonna show you is something that I use to sometimes create melodies for a particular song. Usually that happens vocally. I'll be singing the melody along, and this is a tool that you can use to actually bring what you've sung into the VST world by creating MIDI from it. So if you come into a particular channel, you put your microphone in it by dropping it into the input and then I put on pitcher and then I chose the key that I'm going to be working in so it's working in G major so you would just select the scale that you want to work with and then select the key that you're working off of go down below that and add in Edison 
and then I'm going to record into Edison on play. And what that's gonna do is just record my vocal in here. I'm gonna go ahead and start play this pattern. And I'm gonna come up with a melody and I'll sing that melody in here. All right, so you saw that I recorded that and then it recorded this particular section. So I'm gonna delete this section over here. I'm gonna go back out here to F6 really quickly. I'm gonna add in an FL keys. So there's a new instrument in here, right here, and I have it selected, it's highlighted in green. Now when I come back out to Edison, I'm gonna select this tool, and then I'm going to say convert to score and dump to the piano roll. So what that's gonna do is actually create the melody, the audio that I sang, it has turned it into a melody and converted it to MIDI. And you'll have to come in and clean it up a little bit, but it actually lets you get the melody that's in your head and actually put it to an instrument. So what is your favorite FL Studio tip or trick? Leave that in the comment section below. So the last area that we're gonna cover is actually copying and pasting. Again, it sounds boring, but trust me, if you get these things down, you will work through your songs so much faster. So one of the most beneficial things that you can do is to learn how to copy and paste the MIDI from one instrument into another. So in this particular project, I'm working where I have a piano sound that is playing some chords in here, and I wanna do the same thing maybe with another instrument that I brought in. This could be a synth, it could be something else. In this case, I'm just using a simple Rhodes piano. And so I'm gonna take this, I'm highlighting the channel that I wanna copy, and I press Control C, and then I highlight the channel that I want it to go to, and I press Control V, and I've just basically made a copy of the MIDI information and pasting it from one instrument to another. So the next tip is something that I've learned here recently, which is being able to replace samples on the fly. So let's say that you've created this simple drum pattern. It goes a little bit like this. Okay, and let's say that I don't like this snare sample. So if I open up the snare to this channel option by clicking on it, you'll see this appears right here. If you click on that, it'll tell you what the sample currently is. Now, if I go over here to the browser menu on this other side, I can audition by clicking through each one of these, but I can also, if I hold down shift and then use my up and down arrows, I can trade out the sample on the fly. So if I press this again, I've traded out the snare. And if I shift an arrow down, it trades out it again. Now in this last example, I'm gonna take a channel where I have put in a whole bunch of different plugins. And let's say that I want to just copy and paste maybe one of these plugins over to another channel. So I could take this plugin, I drop down this menu and I click this save preset as. If I drag it over here to let's say channel 112, it's gonna bring up that same exact EQ that was over here, same setup that I have on this one over to that other channel. But if I wanted to drag the entire setup from one channel to the next, I could right click on this, go to the file menu, come down to the save mixer state as, and then just do the same thing. Now speaking of vocal mixing, if you are frustrated with vocal production and you just want a cheat sheet that will help guide you through the mixing process, then download my quick start guide to vocal mixing in the description below. And be sure to check out this next video if you wanna learn the process for getting your songs ready for mixing. And I will see you in the next round.